Now for a bit of a closer look at the control panel. So um, again, some of the central points that I've been pointing out. We have uh, the pattern selector, volume, a rhythm start and stop. Here we have um, all the different tempo uh, speeds at which sidemen can can generate um, rhythms. And then uh, we're on Foxtrot right now, and actually Foxtrot has some extra special um, variations. It can go from a 2-2 two, two beat to 4-4. Four, four. And we can change how the blocks sound. And we can do the same with cymbals. Over here, we have our manual key triggers, so I can do it by hand. Now, I wanted to show you something that I was a little bit disappointed by. Um, let me give you a sample. Maracas, brush, and cymbal. If you ask me, they all kind of sound like angry snakes in a bag or something like that. Um, and I even cross-reference with some other sidemen, and it turns out that this is just normal, um, which is kind of annoying because we, we would think that we would get three different sounds, but it's the same thing. It's just one of them sounds like it's quieter than the other. So it's a bit of a cheap trick on the side of Wurlitzer to make it seem like sidemen had more features than it really does. But if you ask me, the top side of this of this control panel is like kind of boring. So I'm going to take it apart for you and I'm going to show you the marvelous universe that exists just below the surface. I'm going to turn it off and take it apart. Now fortunately Simon was meant to be serviced so it's not that hard to take apart. And check it out. The underside of the panel, it looks like Christmas in here. So check it out people, Sideman can play a little slow western even when it's upside down. Now, first thing I'm going to point out here is this crazy structure here. This is a gigantic switch, it's called a multi-wafer switch. This is what the pattern selector knob is connected to from the other side. Now, when we change, when we change the knob, when we turn the knob, it engages different uh, different sections of the switch that um, are connected to um, the tone generator or to the uh, to the tempo wheel. Now um, it looks a little bit complicated and messy up here, but I just wanted to point out Sideman's cables are managed really professionally. You see, they're all bundled up here uh, using this very um, traditional knot called the line man's knot. So this is how we tie the tie the, the string around it and it just helps it be very neatly maintained. Something very cool about the line man's knot is this is also the knot that's used on the uh, electronic cabling inside um, a Mars rover in outer space. So you know, it's all over the place. Um, next thing I want to show you here is uh, the, um, the buttons so you can key in the uh, sounds uh, mechanically. So check this out. When I press the button, it just connects two pieces of metal together and triggers the sound. Now, <clears throat> when Sideman came to me, this place was like pretty dirty, so uh, the contacts weren't actually going so well, so I had to get in there with a cloth and sort of clean it up because it was all gross in there. But now it works. And you can see this one too. Um, now for another really impressive switch. Uh, to start and stop the rhythm, we have um, a relay here. So when, I'll do this for you, I'll start or stop it, check that out. Now, a relay is um, an electrically controlled switch um, inside this, this uh, underneath this label here, we have uh, a wire coil. Now, 
when we have current applied to it, it creates a magnetic field. And because of that, this lever here is attracted to it. And when that happens, connected to this lever is a little bar. And then this bar lifts up all of these little connectors on this really crazy looking uh, multi-contact switch. And this is what, what engages the, um, the temple wheel. And to be honest, I've like stuck my head in a lot of old machines and never have I ever come across such a weird looking um, switch before. So it's pretty special and I'm happy to see that Sideman has something like this. Oh yeah, one more thing. Now when you're a solo performer, you know, at a nightclub, playing your, playing your electric uh, organ with one hand and like you gotta like drink your whiskey and smoke your cigarette with the other hand, you don't always have time to stop and like you know, fiddle around with sidemen. So, Wurlitzer are actually embedded um, a connector at the bottom of here so you could control sidemen with a foot switch, which was great because you could be doing all your stuff, keeping the life of the party, and then operating sidemen kind of like a sewing machine, but instead of making dresses, it's making beads. So I thought that was pretty neat that it, that it had that as well.